how he's preparing to run the London Marathon. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good Again, morning. You should say preparing the London, London Marathon. Yeah. Again, yeah. this is the last time. <laughs> I, I've got to tell you, this is five days before my 60th birthday and I have to call it a day now. Yeah. But I do love it. I'll still run, but maybe like three miles at a time, yeah. not 26. And what's your, what's your sort of aim time-wise? Time, I don't worry about. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's a wonderful guy called Martin Yelling, who is the marathon coach. And he always says the most wonderful thing to people like myself who do it for a, a, a charity, who are not elite athletes. He says, look, let me tell you the news now. You're not going to win it. <laughs> <laughs> so whether I come, you know, 38,000th out of 40,000, it doesn't really matter to me. I've done 541, 553. If I do yeah. six and a half this time, I don't care. But look, it's, yeah. you're you doing know. it. You've got friends of barbers who are doing it. You're raising profile yeah. on Alzheimer's. You're getting research done into that awful, awful condition. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so what is the aim overall there? What are you looking for money-wise? Or what are you looking for in terms of research? Or In terms of money-wise, I've set a, a target this time. I know things are really difficult for yeah. everyone at the moment. So I, I, I've been very ambitious. I've set a 50,000 target. With a 10,000 pledge coming in that we've got, I think we're at 43,000 already. Gosh, gosh, So gosh. I'm absolutely thrilled. Yeah. It is the awareness. I'm an ambassador for Alzheimer's Research UK. And I've worked with them for the past couple of years. And we've made some wonderful progress. And for me, Barbara's legacy is firmly in place now. Only last week, the government announced the co-chairs for the Dame Barbara Windsor Dementia Mission which was an initiative that I took to the then Prime Minister Boris Johnson, which is like forming a task force like we had with the COVID vaccine, yeah. but specifically for dementia. And he listened, believe it or not, and he did it. And they've doubled research to 160 million a year, which Barbara and I first went to him with in 2019. So for me, did she, her she courage... Had then? She had it then, yeah. She knew that. She knew that. We went public in 2018 and Barbara campaigned herself and did videos for, for Alzheimer's to say to people, you know, please, we need to do more for this awful illness. And it is a disease. Let's not forget that. A lot of people tend to think, oh, people get older. No, this is a cruel, brutal disease. Yeah, brutal, brutal. It is and brutal. And it affects so many people, you know, whether it's their loved ones, but also people just love BAB so much, didn't they? So if people want yeah. to support you or any of the cast who are getting involved, yeah. how can they do that? How can they help you hit that 50,000 target? OK, if all need, people need to do, please, is Google BAB's Army Enthuse. Babs Army. Babs Army. Babs Army Enthuse. 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 Okay. E-N-T-H-U-S-E. Right. -E. And uh, also, if you want to follow us, we're at Babs Army. At okay. Babs Army. We put all video, all training videos up. As you say, I've got some wonderful friends of ours running. Natalie Cassidy, Lacey Turner, Jake Wood, Adam Woodger, Heather Peace, uh, Tanya Franks, Candice Brown. There's, there's a wonderful yeah, team of yeah, people. Yeah, can see that. Thank you. Um, somebody who won't be there to just cheer on, of course, Paul O'Grady. Oh. Shocking news to wake up to this morning, wasn't it? Eamon, I'm a bad sleeper, and just by chance, you know, I do that terrible thing, I have my phone by my bed, mm -hmm. and I just happened to press the text at about 2.30 this morning, and it said Andre, who would never text me, really. And I just knew, I just knew, and he just let me know what had happened. And I've hardly slept since. I just kept thinking about it. He was the most wonderful man as you, I don't need to tell you, you met him, you're a friend of his as well. And I, I just can't believe I'm talking about him in the past tense again. We know he had health problems and everything else, but he kind of seemed invincible. He always looked good. Yeah. Well, whatever this, was going on on the inside. Friend. Yeah, he was, he was to me invincible and he was very real and funny and intelligent. And I have to say, when Barbara was ill, he was such a loyal yes, friend. Yes. He kept coming round yeah. to see how he'd turn up on the back of a motorbike on yeah. his way to work somewhere. Yeah. And he never forgot her and he'd sit there and he'd listen to her repeat herself the whole time. And he was also really lovely to me since then and, you know, made sure that I wasn't left out. And that's all without the cameras rolling and that is yes. the measure of a, that's of a the person. Man. You know, that's, yeah, absolutely. That's yeah. when you know you've got a good egg when they're doing that, mm. about going above and beyond. He's such a great, such a great loss and my, my love to Andre and Paul's family. I know, terrible. But you're talking about um, Barbara's decline and... 
I can remember, and it seems like it doesn't seem long ago at all. It was an evening with uh, Joan Collins at the London Palladium. Like to me, it's three years ago maximum. Yeah. It, might, it might have been more, but she sat beside me, and we. I mean, I just laughed about the whole thing. <laughs> but there was no repeating. She was slightly outrageous, I yes. have to say. Yes, but no change long, there. Yeah. <laughs> how long do you think she had it for? Like, Well, that would have started coming on, I reckon, around 2010 onwards. Gosh, That's, no, no sign of it. There was no sign no of it. Sign it of was it. slow. I noticed, obviously, I was with her every day. Yeah. So I could see the signs and we got her diagnosed. I took her, first of all, in 2012 mm -hmm. to see a neurologist and she was diagnosed 2014. Look, we've got to go. You're a good man. Good, good luck. luck. For, Thank you Sunday? so much. Is it Sunday? No, it's That's April the 23rd. Paris. <laughs> You've plenty of time to train. <laughs>